it's predominantly a hockey bar, uh, but I, I think uh, after this, we're going to turn it into a curling bar. Curling now enters the Sports Weekend Spotlight. Oh, look at the American flag. <laughs> we got a bit of an here. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing well, guys. How are you? Doing really, really well. good. Is there a Royal Canadian Mountie in the back there? Yeah, there, there's a couple of Mounties uh, right here in the back that have uh, joined us as well. Awesome. Uh, obviously, it looks like things are starting to get into full swing there. What's going on and what's the vibe as we get ready for Canada, USA? Yeah, we've got the absolute perfect venue here. This is uh, New York's newest Canadian bar uh, in the Chelsea neighborhood of Manhattan. Uh, Dennis, the owner here, has been kind enough to host us for a watch party. And uh, you know, half of, uh, not half, but maybe a third of our, our existing club in Brooklyn is Canadian. Uh, a third, like myself, are uh, upper Midwesterners. So we've become quite a, a friendly little group of uh, curlers in New York City. I love it. Oh, I Olympics. think. Go ahead, Cole. And we saw the upswing in popularity of curling and we're seeing it with more clubs there too um but do you feel that there that there's more interest in schuster and company uh south of the border yeah it's 2018 was such a huge catalyst for for curling in the united states and you know, i think you see it in, in the kind of professionalization uh and, and the changing nature of new curling centers popping up they look a lot more like entertainment centers rather than you know, uh, VFWs, the I said, there, there's great new facilities in Los Angeles, Nashville, or a new one outside of Denver, uh, Cleveland. You know, you can, there's, there's probably a dozen great new professional looking facilities across the U.S. Uh, and, and New York is, at, at this point, is feeling less out. We do not have one. Um, our little club, we're about uh, 120 members. We get uh, Wednesdays and Sundays uh, on the ice in Prospect Park in Brooklyn. And that's all the ice time we can get right now. So we are um, kind of at the mercy of the schedule, and and we're uh, we're working to get a dedicated facility because I know you know we've talked with USA curling folks, talked with a lot of folks in Canada, uh, in the curling scene up there, of just how big uh, it would be to have a full size curling center in New York City. Um, you know, you, you can tell by the Mounties behind us. There's something like forty thousand expat Canadians living in New York City, like, yeah. you know, it would be easy, very easy to fill the center up. And uh, so we're working hard at it. Uh, is it a little aside, I, I heard one of you guys is, is a fan of Scarb. Uh, so we've got uh, our own flipping curling star. Oh, we'll be nice. happy to send one up for the show. I oh. love it. I absolutely love it. And that, that I think will be a perfect addition to the wardrobe. Uh, there's a lot of American uh, flag and paraphernalia behind you. Can you can you show us around? I don't know if you're able to show us around or give us. I mean, a... I can step outside of the shot here. Uh, this is the Canuck. Uh, as you'd expect, a, a large moose mouth over the bar. Mounties in the shot. We've got our USA curling fan. Uh, it's predominantly a hockey bar, uh, but I, I think uh, after this, we're going to turn it into a curling bar. Outstanding. Outstanding. Does it get loud in the bar, by the way, when the game is on? Oh, yeah. It, it, they've had this kind of immediate success. I know Dennis is right over here. He's uh, the owner. Uh, and it's just a you know, really tight group of Canadians that, that love to come and watch hockey. The uh, Chelsea Piers rink complex is only a few blocks away. So it was a natural spot for him to have today. You know, they have a lot of people coming out to rec hockey. And, and, uh, what's what's the day. specialty? What's the specialty curling drink, by the way? Because you know, there's got to be an Olympic curling cocktail, doesn't there? Or just no, I beer? Haven't asked, I haven't asked Dennis yet. That you know, we're we're so busy in the New York market with media requests, and we're the only curlers in town. So anytime it, you know. NBC, ABC, Fox, whoever wants to, to do a push on curling, uh, it, it's us. So we've had the most uh, insane week of, uh, of media events, fly curling, uh, and all out of our you know, tiny little club in Brooklyn. Uh, 
a question. I don't know if you're able to do this, but are you able to yell out to the crowd and get a sense of how many people are cheering for the United States and how many people are cheering yeah, for Canada? Yeah, shout it out. <laughs> Right, while you're on air. Yeah. You probably told them to be quiet. Yeah. Anyhow, what do you, oh, okay, tell us your pick for the USA Canada game and why. Because Schuster's been great, Gushu's usually great. It's, uh, I really like the way Schuster and company have, have played their first couple games. You know, they they have had a couple of tough breaks with some shots. Um, you know, the Gucci team uh, is also mixed strong, but it's, it's had their moments with struggles. I, I think this is going to be really telling for, like, what the rest of the round is going to look like. Do the Mounties want to get on the show? Do you want to take out your earbuds and get the Mounties on the show? <laughs> You want to come on air? Yeah, this is CBT. Say hello. <laughs> can, you, can you hear us? And we, we can't hear you very well, so I don't know if, uh, if you need the other earbud. <laughs> <laughs> we are a lot, you know, sharing earbuds perfectly acceptable. Well, you know, so, like, it's fine right now, right? In terms of sharing earbuds, sharing everything, knowing to wear masks, but how are you doing? Your background's pretty epic right now, I have to say. No offense to you, Devin. <laughs> I love your Mountie outfit. I wish I had one. Was it a Halloween yeah. costume or did you get it special for this? Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, as a Canadian, I mean, it's specially made. But no, I lied. Um, my as a, a more legit outfit, I uh, just bought this online uh, for a previous Halloween party t about two years ago. And finally, I get to, to wear it again. So, And you're a curler as well? I have curled before. Okay. Uh, I the most beginner you can get. Uh, I curled last year, I think I would say. So about a year ago at Prospect Park in Brooklyn, even though I'm Canadian, I've never, ever curled in Canada. And then I come to New York and I've curled, so. <laughs> where are you from? Where where are you from in Canada? La Bonne Province de Quebec. I'm, I'm from Montreal. So awesome. I'm from Quebec. And then I, I sent a, a friend, uh, an American friend that curled this week, and she's very, she's here this evening, and she said that she had the, the, the biggest bruise on her knee from curling in Bryant Park. So it's good, it's catching up. We gotta get people excited about it because they, a lot of people don't understand the just the point system. So that's right. We, yeah, but you guys all, are experts at, I'm not, so. Yeah, well, all sports have sometimes a little bit of a weird um, point scoring, like look at tennis, you yeah. know, for example. But I, I find Americans catch on to it pretty darn quick and they become armchair quarterbacks in a hurry you guys have fun there for the game usa Thank canada you. yeah yeah i know it's a, it's a full house and there are not very many canadian bars in new york so it's a good turnout that's for sure you're it well i know where to head next time i come down to new york for absolutely the show. absolutely you should. You should. And i didn't mean to steal the spotlight so i'll give these these dirty earpods back so it was nice meeting the two of you Sorry, I didn't mean to Sorry. steal the. She didn't mean to steal the back the the uh, the show. She just popped up behind your shoulder. Yes. And yeah, that was awesome. They're always watching. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no kidding. Any closing thoughts as we get ready for the game? Uh, Twenty-four minutes away. I know it's going to be rocking there, and I know everybody's excited about this. Any closing thoughts? Yeah, we're just so excited to hopefully uh, finally fulfill the dream of full-time prayer center in New York. Uh, we'd love to have people go to brooklynprayerscenter.com and check it out. And we'd love to have uh, folks in the club up in Canada come down and pond spiel with us someday. Uh, I know we've got a very large, robust Canadian community in town that would, would love another clubhouse to play in. And uh, it, it's it's really possible. It's it's just, uh, you know, we're in both the best and the worst place to do this, uh, being in New York City. Uh, it's real estate and money. 
and uh, you know they can both be in short supply at times. So we're we're very hopeful, and just with what we've seen with the growth of curling, it's it's going to happen. 